On November 21st, a powerful airstrike hit the Ukrainian city of Dnipro, sparking explosions that lasted for hours. Eyewitnesses described the attack as unusual, with a missile strike that initially appeared to have the characteristics of an intercontinental ballistic missile. However, it was later concluded that the missile was, in fact, an intermediate-range missile. Putin soon confirmed this, announcing the launch of a new missile, codenamed Oreshnik, describing it as a conventional intermediate-range weapon traveling at Mach 10, with no current defense system capable of countering it. So, in this video, let's explore everything we know about the Oreshnik missile, its capabilities, and its implications for Ukraine and modern warfare in general. The Oreshnik, which means hazel tree in Russian, was unveiled by President Putin as part of a new generation of Russian intermediate-range missiles. According to Putin, the missile travels at a speed of Mach 10, around 2.5 to 3 kilometers per second, making it 10 times the speed of sound. This speed is a significant development, as it puts the missile in the hypersonic category, which makes it far more difficult to intercept compared to conventional ballistic missiles. The missile was reportedly tested for the first time when it struck the military industrial site in Dnipro, a city central to Ukraine's missile production. The location targeted by the Oreshnik is known for manufacturing armaments, and Putin claimed the strike was successful, with the missile reaching its target as intended. While the exact specifications of the Oreshnik remain classified, there are a few key details available from multiple sources. The missile is said to have a range of 2,500 to 3,000 kilometers, with some experts speculating that it could extend up to 5,000 kilometers. This range would put almost all of Europe within its reach. The missile is believed to have a separating warhead with individual guidance units, enhancing its accuracy and impact. One important feature that sets the Oreshnik apart from conventional Russian missiles used in Ukraine is its speed. Hypersonic missiles travel at speeds that significantly reduce the time between launch and impact, making interception by current air defense systems deployed by Ukraine more difficult. The missile's Mach 10 speed gives it the ability to overcome air defense systems like the U.S.-supplied Patriot missiles, which have been notably effective in countering slower Russian missile systems in Ukraine. The Oreshnik is reported to be equipped with multiple warheads, each with its own independent guidance system. This design allows the missile to target several locations at once, increasing its effectiveness. According to military analysts, the simultaneous arrival of multiple warheads could overwhelm even the most advanced defense systems as intercepting such a high-speed, multi-target missile would present a significant challenge to Ukrainian air defense. While it remains unclear whether the missile was specifically designed for nuclear payloads, Russian analysts have suggested that the Oreshnik could be used to target and destroy well-protected underground facilities without the need for a nuclear warhead. In the case of the Dnipro attack, there is no indication that underground bunkers were targeted though the missile's ability to hit hardened sites is a significant capability. Western experts are still debating the missile's exact origins. Some believe that it is based on the Russian Yars-M ICBM, albeit with modifications to reduce its size and range. The Yars-M is part of Russia's strategic nuclear arsenal and is known for its mobile launch capability. The Oreshnik, if it is indeed derived from the Yars-M, would be a versatile addition to Russia's arsenal, combining the long-range potential of a ballistic missile with the speed and maneuverability of a hypersonic weapon. Other experts believe that the missile could have been developed from the Iskander, a shorter-range ballistic missile already in use by Russia in the Ukraine conflict. This version of the Iskander, with an upgraded engine, may serve as the foundation for the Oreshnik. Regardless of its origins, the missile's development signals a significant leap in Russian missile technology. 
The Oreshnik missile was reportedly fired from the Kapustin Yar test site in southern Russia, the same location where Russia has tested other advanced missile systems. The missile's successful test in November marked the first confirmed use of this new weapon in a combat situation. Russian officials have stated that further tests will continue, including operational deployment in combat conditions. The Oreshnik's deployment could signal a new phase in the missile capabilities of the Russian military, offering them a potent weapon that could potentially bypass existing missile defense systems. Its speed, range, and maneuverability make it an attractive option for Russia's strategic and tactical operations, especially as the conflict in Ukraine continues to evolve. The introduction of the Oreshnik raises significant concerns about the vulnerability of existing missile defense systems, particularly those deployed by Ukraine. While Ukrainian forces have been successful in intercepting a high percentage of Russian missile strikes, approximately 80%, the Oreshnik's speed and maneuverability could reduce this success rate. The missile's potential to outpace and avoid interception means that Ukraine's reliance on systems like the Patriot Missile Defense may be less effective against this new threat. The introduction of the Oreshnik could force Ukraine to seek new countermeasures or adapt its defense strategy to account for the emerging hypersonic missile threat. What do you think about Russia's new missile? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates on defense technology and military news.